Hi! In previous video, we installed VMware Player and ran our Kali Linux machine on it. In this video, we'll get acquainted with Kali Linux the easy way. So, in this video, we are going to get to know with Kali Linux interface, update and upgrade Kali Distro, get acquainted with ethical hacking tools we use in the course, how to use Kali Linux legally, understand how to tune up Kali Linux on your own choice. Here are some commands for updating and upgrading Kali Linux to get the freshest copy of it. It's apt-get upgrade, apt-get update, apt-get dist upgrade and for your convenience you can unite them in one command. I'll tell you in detail about them a bit later. So let's get started. We are filling in our password, it's tour, as you remember. And here we are. We are at our Kali Linux machine. Actually, as I mentioned before, Kali Linux is a full-fledged Linux system. So, if you are get acquainted with another Linux machine, for example, uh, Ubuntu, it will be very easy for you to get around with Kali. But if not, don't worry. Uh, just follow my instructions and you will learn everything you need uh, for this course. Let's begin from the top right corner of our desktop. Here we can see our internet connection details. Uh, here is our account details. By default it's root, but if you want you will be able to change them. Here is some settings. Here are the settings for the system. You are able to change them, but now it's OK, so we are going further. Here is, uh, we have workspaces. Uh, the matter is that uh, Kelly is a uh, multi-desktop machine, so you can choose and switch between the workspaces here. Here you can do your screencasts and screenshots with your camera. And uh, here is calendar. Here are the places. And the places means uh, different directories. You can go through directories of the Kelly machine. You can see home, desktop, documents, uh, videos. And if you click on computer, you can see, click, ho uh, click home and you can see all of them in one window. And most interesting part, it's applications. Applications, it's the famous Kelly Linux tools we will be working with during the course. They are divided into sections. Let's have a look for the first one, information gathering. If we click here, we can see new sections like DNS analysis, IDS, IPS identification, leave host identification. And to the right, we can see a bunch of tools for that purpose. Here is vulnerability analysis, web applications analysis, and actually, a lot of tools that are included in Kali Linux for different uh, kind of purposes. Let's have a look here at this panel. Th this panel is for most popular and most favorite uh, Kali Linux tools. Uh, first one is the browser. It's Firefox. And if we click on it, let us see. Now, the default page uh, of this browser is uh, offensive security and Kali Linux page, so it's very useful. If you need to get more information about Kali, you can just click on this panel about offensive security, about uh, Kali Linux, about different kinds of exploits, and so on, so on, so on. So I advise you to scroll through these panels. Okay, let's go ahead. And here is the terminal. We are going to work with it for a lot of time. And for your convenience, I've made it full screen size and the font is big and bright for you to see it clearly. Let's go ahead. Here, as we can see, files. It's files and you can find directories and files of your Kelly machine here. Here is one of the most popular tools for penetration testing, Metasploit and its uh, graphical interface, Arbitage. We'll talk about them in the next section. Here is Burp Suite, uh, the key tool for web application testing. We'll spend a lot of time with it too. Here is BFXSS framework, it's for browsers attack. 
we are missing Faraday IDA because it's uh, out of the scope of our course. Here is leaf pad is actually the same as notepad. Nothing new here. Here is tweak tool. With this tool you can tune up your Kali uh, on your choice. Everything. Appearance, theme, icons, cursor, extensions, fonts, everything you need to tune up your Kali you can find here. And this button is about all applications you can find on your Kali machine. Click here and you can see them. You can scroll down with these buttons. So on, so on. There are a lot of them and I advise you to explore it later. And now it's time to get the freshest copy of our Kelly. For this purpose we go to our terminal and type here three commands. The first one is apt get update and here you can see the updating package lists. The next one is apt get upgrade. As we can see there are some upgrades here, so I say yes and get in the upgrades. For the first time it will take one, two or even three hours to download uh, and upgrade everything. So you can pause the video and wait uh, for the process finished. Great. And the last command is apt get dist dash upgrade. Again say yes. And voila! We have the freshest and newest version of our Kali Linux. And for your convenience you can unite all three commands we've uh, done just now uh, into one uh, long stream. Here is it. I just copy paste it and run it. That's easy. And I'll explain what this command is. You can see here we, we take apt get update and uh, apt get upgrade and this y is yes parameter. So for any questions the program asks you, you say yes by default. And this y means the same. So to update your Kelly you can use three separate commands or one united command like this. You should run this command every time you start up your Kali Linux to have the freshest and newest version of Kali and its tools. And before we go ahead, I want to make a very important warning. Kali Linux tools imitate real cyber attack, so you should use it only legally. And there is only three ways to do it. You legally use your Kali Linux if you use it in the local network or a sets of your own. Or if you have written permission of the network or a sets owner for providing penetration tests. Or on websites specially designed for trading purposes. If you try on an asset that isn't of your own, it uh, can be considered as illegal activity and can come to criminal punishment. So, use your Kelly only in legal ways. In this video we have covered Kali Linux interface and how to use it, updated and upgraded Kali distro, got acquainted with ethical hacking tools we use in the course, how to use Kali Linux legally, how to tune up Kali Linux on your own choice. In the next video we will get acquainted with Kali Linux terminal command that we will use in our course. Let's move ahead.